back to my channel. So today I have a little Easter and springtime home decor house tour. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't wanna miss out. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So if you've seen my past home decor house tours, then you know I always have a screensaver to um, match the holiday. So I have Happy Easter right on the screen. And the colors kind of go with what I decorated with. So we have that. And then we have my little fireplace right here. And then if you guys saw my Valentine's Day decorate with me, then you've seen these before. We actually made these together and uh, I will link those videos down below if you wanna check it out. But these are actually conversation hearts and um, they were super heavy to put into a tree. So I made little um, flower pots with them. I have some on either side and the colors go perfectly with Easter. So I brought them back out for Easter. And then for the actual fireplace, on either side I have these like lemongrass sticks, I guess, um, with Easter eggs on either side. And of course those candles, those darn candles, I can't seem to uh, get rid of, but if you've seen my previous house tours then you know. But here is a little chick. These things are so cute. I don't... <laughs> Look how tiny and fluffy he is. Oh. Adorable. And I have a little bunny rabbit and more little chicks and bunnies. And this is actually from Valentine's Day. A lot of the stuff I actually reused from Valentine's Day to Easter just because the colors. And I have He is Risen. Yes, he is. And um, this, if you're wondering, I got from Ross. And it's actually very pretty. It has like all this uh, beading. Very, very nice. And then I just have some of these glitter Easter eggs just to bring some color because I know it's just like very white. So just to bring some color to the center. And then I just did the same on this side. And these are actually little like tea candle holders and I just put Easter eggs in them. And it's very cute. It's like a little nest with little Easter eggs on like all around it. It's very, very cute. And I believe I got those from Hobby Lobby. And then I, of course I have a little garland to go across. And these are little glittery Easter eggs. I just loved the colors. It's so pretty and pastel. And I actually got that from Michael's, I believe. So that's it for this side. And then before we get to the tree, let me get to my little couch here. I have, of course, pillows to match and my new throw blanket. I recently hauled this. Again, I'll link those videos down below for you. And these pillows, um, I've used the pink ones for Valentine's Day, the yellow and the green for Halloween and even for Christmas. And I still have my gold art right there. I thought it went really well with the decor. And then for the coffee table, I have this. Oh, I didn't even turn this on for you guys. Okay, so for the coffee table, I have this little trio. So on this side, I of course have a little candle. Um, this is from Bath & Body Works called Cufflinks, but the main reason was because of the iridescence of the candle. It's very, very pretty. Not only does it have like very shiny like sprinkles, but then even the actual candle itself, I don't know if you can tell, is very pretty and pastel and iridescent. And I thought it looked very Easterish. And then I have this on the candle stand, which I also got from Bath and Body Works a couple of years ago, I believe. And then on this side, I have a little bouquet. These are from Dollar Tree, just like little um, picks. And the colors look very Easterish. And for the vase, I actually filled it with more glitter Easter eggs. And then for the center, I again have my glass dome and then Inside, I have some of this iridescent 
Easter grass, which I got from Hobby Lobby, and this little basket inside, which was a gift from a long time ago, but I believe it was originally from Bath & Body Works, and looked very Easterish, very spring as well, and I filled that with more of those glitter um, Easter eggs, like a little basket of eggs. So I thought that looked very cute. And that is it for my coffee table. Let's move on to the tree. So this is my little Easter tree. And I just have some random picks. Again, these are from Dollar Tree. Different colors just sprouting out. And then these little egg ornaments are actually from Dollar Tree as well. Some of them are iridescent and some of them are actually glittery. So I think I used all of the glittery ones for the tree. And then the gold and green ornaments, I just kept them up from um, St. Patrick's Day. I just really like that green for Easter as well, so I kept that up. And then surrounding the tree are some of my plushies. We have this little bunny. And then my favorite ever, Blue Bear. He's just always been my favorite because he just reminds me of my birthstone. My birthstone is aquamarine, and this is the closest I've ever gotten to getting an aquamarine colored stuffy. <laughs> so um, yeah, and I've had him since I was little, so he's very special to me. If you've seen my, uh, I think it was my plushy collection video from several years ago, then you know <sighs> these little stains, you know all about it. <sighs> very traumatic. I'm still angry at my sister for it. Uh, if you want to check it out, again, I will link it down below or link it above, but yes, make sure to check that out. Anyways, then I have my other little bunny friend, and this one is also from my childhood, and it has all the Easter colors, of course. That is my little Easter tree. And then moving on, to the table setting. So we have little bouquets on either side. I try to do different colors, um, purple and then pink on this side, but because I only had like one of each left. So these again are from Dollar Tree. And then on either side of that, I have these new little martini glasses that I got from TJ Maxx, I believe, or Home Goods. And I just filled them up with more iridescent. Easter grass and some of those ornaments, those little egg ornaments. And these are the um, iridescent ones that I was talking about. And they just look so cute. And the um, martini glasses themselves, it's hard to show you, but they're very iridescent as well and so pretty. And then for the actual table itself, I have the same table cloth as Valentine's Day and the same table runner. And then I have these little placemats as well, all pink, and the iridescent tablecloth, of course. And then I have my tear tray. And again, I used a lot of Valentine's Day things. This one straight up looks very Easterish because of the colors, but of course it has hearts, so I used it for Valentine's Day as well. But then I have my um, little gnome, and I have these little chickadees right on either side. And I have my little mug with some carrots in them. I have the same thing going on over here. And then this one is from Valentine's Day, of course, but looked very Easterish to me, so I reused it. And the little candle, I have my little bunny. And then that's from Valentine's Day. And then I reused the mug. I didn't have an Easter mug, so all I had was this pink mug, which I used for Valentine's Day and I filled it up with more of that iridescent grass and some eggs. I have another little bunny on top of the candle. I have my little gnome. Let's take a look at the back. So the back doesn't have too much going on. Again, I have this little book from Valentine's Day and this little heart potted plant from Valentine's Day. It's basically all Valentine's Day, but the colors went very well together. So that is the back. And now we have this table, this little table right behind. And I again have that same little glitter egg ornament uh, garland, right, going right across. I wanted it to kind of drape like right here, but it was too short. 
So this was the best I could do. <laughs> and then I of course have that same little tea light holder and these little chicks my grandma actually made. And so I use them for decor. This little rose is from Valentine's Day. And then for the apothecary jars, I filled them up with the iridescent grass. And then I put some of those little egg ornaments inside. And then I do have some of these like random eggs scattered about and some little chicks on either side of this Easter sign. How pretty is that? I love the glitter. It's so gorgeous. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. So, so pretty. I love it. And then of course I have my fairy light. Um, I wasn't sure which color to go with, but I went with blue because I wanted to have more blue in my decor, but um, I just didn't. So I just added some of the fairy lights and made them blue. Very pretty. And I never get to use this blue for any other holiday. So I thought I would just go ahead with the blue. So that is it for that little table. And then we have, of course, the light curtain, which I always use, which I've kept up since I think Christmas now. And then I have the wreath that I usually use. I don't hang them outside anymore, so I just hang them indoors. And so uh, this is my Easter wreath. Is this even a wreath? Is it just like a wall hanging? I don't even know. But it says Happy Easter and it has those little Easter eggs in there. And then the final piece of decor that I have is this little tiered tray by my coffee station. Um, I just have this little mug. I believe this is from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. But it says, I got this. God. And I love it. It's so pretty with the gold. And I just filled that up with some iridescent green grass. Oh, by the way, you're going to have to ignore that sound in the background. I'm doing laundry. So anyways, <laughs> um, so yes, I just filled it up with some eggs and grass. And then I have my little felt heart, that little uh, felt heart that we made together. Again, I will link that video down below. And then I have this little green uh, candle from Hobby Lobby inside of the candle holder. And then I have my little heart bouquet. And of course, the gold swan. And then a lot of this, I think all of this actually, is from Valentine's Day. I have the little kissing booth, the Valentine's Day sprinkles. I just needed something to fill that gap. And then I have those hearts again and a flower. So that is my second tiered tray. Very Easterish. I just love those like pops of color, the blue and the green. I love it. And I almost forgot my towel. I can't believe... <laughs> I almost forgot this, but uh, um, it's brand new, still haven't used it yet, and I can't remember where it's from. I think it's from Dollar Tree, and I could have sworn I had two of them, and I cannot find the second one, but yes, this is a little Easter egg dish towel. All right, so now I'm going to give you a little overview of the decor. So that is it for my Easter slash springtime home decor house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite part of the decor was. I think mine would have to be the coffee table. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Easter!